Hi everyone, I'm Luis, your CS tutor, and today we're going to talk about the anatomy of a class. So a class is pretty much like blueprints or a recipe for creating objects, and objects are like the building blocks of Java. So let's dive into it. So now for a brief overview of how classes work, if we think of a class like a blueprint, we can use this blueprint that we defined to create objects which are known as instances of this class. So we create objects, and they share all of the methods and behaviors that we defined in this class. So some important terms we need to know for the anatomy of a class are class variables, which are pretty much variables shared by every instance of the class. Uh, there's instance variables, which are unique to every instance. And then there's constructors, which is how we create each instance of the class and how it prepares it for our use. And then methods are the behaviors we assign to the class, which are shared by all the instances. So I'm from California, and one really popular restaurant here is In-N-Out Burger. And I'm a really big fan, and I'm sure a lot of people are. So why don't we try to recreate the In-N-Out Burger menu as an example under our new brand, Code With Us Burger. So our class is going to consist of our order. So it's going to have our restaurant name, which should be a class variable because it's always going to be Code With Us Burger. Then the order name which we're going to give two options for our menu items, double-double and a three-by-three. Three. And depending on which one they order, it'll give us the two patties and two cheeses or three patties and three cheeses. So let's code that up. So let's create our order class. So what you do to create a class is you use the public class and then your class name and use the curly braces. And then inside is where we're going to have all the instructions. So let's add that right now. So now we have our variables, our constructor, and the methods. So let's talk about our variables. So on the first line, we see restaurant name. And if you pay close attention, you can see that there's a static keyword there. And that pretty much indicates that this is a class variable shared by every instance of the class. Then these three variables here, order name, num patties, and num cheese, those are instance variables. So those will change with every instance. So now let's move on to our constructor here. And as you can see, you can tell it's a constructor because it uses the class name and kind of looks like a method. Um, and we can see it has a parameter order name, which might get confusing with the order name variable up here. But to take care of that ambiguity, what you would do to actually use this order name when there's an order name parameter in another method or the constructor is you would use the this keyword to use this one and then know this keyword to use the one that's defined in the parameters. So in our constructor, we can see it'll set the order name from the class to the order name of the parameter in this line. And then we handle two different scenarios. If the order name is double double, then we give the num patties a value of two and num cheese a value of two. Or if it's a three by three, then we set them both to three. So what that'll do is it'll set those values of the instance and it'll store them in there for our instance. And then we could use that in our methods for the class. So what we have here is a pretty basic printing order method, which will just print the restaurant name, a little divider, the order name, and then num patties and num cheeses. So now let's test it out in our main file. So the reason we're in a new file is because typically in Java, classes exist in their own files. So the order class exists in the order.java file, and this code with us class exists in the code with us.java file. And this one contains our main method. So let's talk about our example. So my friend Victor orders a three by three and my friend Sophia orders a double double. So the way we would show that is we would create two instances of the order class and we would set the type to order, use the variable Victor's order and Sophia's order. Um, and then we could set it equal to a new instance of the order class with the constructors that we want. So for Victor, it's three by three, and Sophia, it's double double. And then we can print the order with our print order function that we defined earlier. And we can also see how setting the restaurant name class variable to better code with us burger changes the orders for Victor and Sophia. So you can see how that changes all the instances. So here we can see the output. So as we expect, it printed out code with us then Victor's order, which was a three by three with three patties and three cheeses. Sophia's order, which was a double double with two patties, two cheeses. And then after we reset the class variable to equal better code with us burger, it changes the output for both of those instances. So that change is like 
global to all the instances of that class. And the order's the same, just the restaurant's different. So I hope you guys learned a lot and I'll see you in the next video.